All right, we are live now. Um, just wait for some people to join. Um, so yeah, basically what we're doing right now is working on a rebuilding a deck. So this is a job that I've been waiting to do for a while, but finally got around to it. So Garrett is just tearing up the old boards which is our cedar by the way and then there's this concrete step that we have to build around but i see some people are joining now hi stephanie um so yeah basically this is what we're working on today but like i say i'm just coming on for i guess a 5,000 subscriber special i guess it's 5,500 now, but I'd like to thank all the new subscribers that have been coming to the channel. I appreciate you checking it out. Um, flip the camera around here. So yeah, but I do have something uh, kind of cool to show you. Um, so I'm going to let Garrett keep doing this and I'm going to head back to my lot and sort of do a demo on what I ordered. Um, but yeah, I can uh, answer some questions if anyone has any. How do I get to the comments here? I don't know why I can't see them. They're not staying. But anyways... I'll just set the camera down for a second. But yeah, um, if anyone has any questions for me, any new people who haven't caught a live before, I know I don't do live streams very often. Um, I just don't really have much to talk about in a live. But yeah, we'll just... Head over. We just finished up a couple roofs in Unity. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Who was that from? Did Alex... Did Alex think about replacing the deck you re-leveled? Yeah, I think he was thinking about it. Um, that deck would definitely need replacing, that's for sure. Um, it was quite rotten under there. I just sort of uh, leveled it just for the time being so it looks better. And I guess it makes the house more saleable, kind of makes it safer. Is the saloon going to be a working saloon for your friends and family? Um, yeah, like as far, I don't know what you really mean by working saloon, but like as close to a, you know, I think I'll put a bar in there, and, you know, there's a fridge in there right now, but maybe some cabinetry or something, like, I, I just haven't had time to really work on it at all this year, um, other than the stained glass, but <laughs> the saloon build series isn't, it's not over yet, I will still have episodes coming out on that eventually when I kind of start the interior but yeah um any other questions I guess I'll have to scroll through I probably missed quite a few but I am almost over on the other side of town congrats on 5,000 subscribers thank you yeah, it's, it's definitely nice to see the channel growing. I appreciate Alex shouting me out and helping my channel. Now we got a bit of construction here. They're redoing all the, the water lines in town, so they're just kind of moving up to the main highway through town, so it's about to get a little bit challenging.
How did you learn your skills with wood, etc.? Um, well, I guess, how do I put this? Like, we took shop class in school, right? So obviously I was taught a little bit there. But, like, without trying to sound too arrogant, like, I did pick up on a lot of it just by myself, like, just playing around and doing that sort of thing, like, the earlier on skills, I guess. But then I did work for, you know, two or three good carpenters who taught me a lot, so I definitely give them a lot of credit. But I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod for now. Actually, I could just go through the, if there's any more questions. I didn't really see any more. Okay, I'll uh, flip the camera around here. Take my phone up in piece. I wasn't exactly prepared for this. <laughs> So that's my break right there. And then I'll be right back. Now what I got here, this is called a trim former. So I was sort of, you know, finally able to afford, or I guess justify buying one of these things. And basically what this does is it's a roll forming device that puts different ribs and different profiles into metal. So it came with two different dies, a brick mold die and a uh, rib die. And I was just sort of playing around with it a little bit last night. Um, it just does a single rib, but you can make all different profiles. And then over here on this scrap piece, I did a brick mold. So I have a couple of blanks here. I could just sort of show you. Say you wanted a rib in a fascia or something. So you take do a camel on it. this on and then the center like the instructions don't really help at all with this thing you just sort of got to figure it out on your own but I figured that the center of this uh, rib die here is three and a quarter so you just sort of like three and a quarter from the uh, point of your jaw so say you wanted that roughly just take it. And then say I wanted to cut it off a little bit nicer. Say that could be a 
piece of fascia with a profile in it. Now I will just grab a tape measure for the next here. where these come in handy. I also ordered these too. These are called a multi-gauge. And with these you can line up the edge of your piece right where the dimension came up, so where the trim cutter would go. In this case I just need an inch and a half for what I laid out. I'll have to change change the dies on this real quick. They had a bit of a quicker Okay, I'll come back here just for a second. I like you better in short hair than when you had long hair. Yeah, it's sort of, you know, nicer in the summertime. Who is Alex? Okay, someone on here doesn't know. Um, so, Alex, he, Curiosity Inc. is his channel. I sort of first appeared on his channel, and a lot of the subscribers on my channel came over from his channel, so...
microphone is to, I'll try and move the camera a little bit closer maybe. See if that helps. Okay. So that gives you the initial profile. Now a brick mold is usually two and a quarter. So that's what we'll make this. bit over bend just so it could friction fit but essentially that is a completed brick mold trim with the profile say you were doing that on a door or something this would be the face and then that would clip in on the side and then you could either uh, put a ham on here or do something to make it fancy but that's essentially what that tool does right there is puts the different profiles in so it's kind of something handy to have around allows me to do something that other guys can't do but yeah anybody have any questions or anything for me anyone new here how many of you are new like just subscribed within the last few days. Yeah, now I did order a new brake. So anybody who's sort of interested in the metal working, um, I do have a new brake on order, the Industrial Metal Master 20. And I'll do sort of a more in-depth video on the trim former and all different components. I'll try and like redo the metal braking video because there's really no videos on YouTube of that trim former. So I'll sort of play around with it and get used to it a little bit and then sort of do a bit of a video on it. But yeah, once I get my new brake, I'll I'll do that. I resubscribed recently after seeing you at the Potter's house again. Well, thank you. Okay, well, yeah, that is pretty much, I guess, another thing I could do, take the camera out of the tripod. Um, I probably really haven't done a video on my lot after a while, so I'll kind of just show you what I got going on here. I think I showed the Porta shelter going up, but that was probably the last thing I really did. Um, that fence I built as a demo for a project that I'd quoted for a client, and upon seeing the fence they went ahead with the project so that was what i was so busy with if you saw my instagram you would have seen us doing that fence and retaining wall um didn't have time to film much but i will sort of have a video going together 
about that. But what I was doing here with this piece, I guess, was sort of just to show that on pieces like that, you could actually do a profiled post, sort of like a more colonial design, but I don't know. Some people might like that, but that just looks a little bit too busy for me. I mean, you wouldn't have to do that many ribs in it. Like you could go with just a, oh man, those guys are hauling something. But you could just go with a single rib. That might look a little bit, a little bit cleaner. Yeah, that wouldn't look bad. I actually kind of like that. But yeah, that's sort of, sort of what that's all about. And then pardon the mess in here right now, but this is the fire pit area. Um, that's like an old railway station stove or possibly a schoolhouse stove probably from a railway station though but yeah then I got like light strung up that back fence I built out of a recycled lumber from a fence that I tore down sort of just to demonstrate that you know even years from now like this sort of design would still look not bad I did the more barn wood sides towards the outside so even when, you know, it weathers a bit, it still doesn't look bad. So that was the idea there. Yeah, it is sort of a cool stove. It's got, you know, your top. And then you can open or close the draft there. I just put this chimney on it. It's got the spark arrestor and everything. But, I mean, it's fairly big. Like, this is me standing up full height. So, you know, it's pretty much chest height. It's a nice big stove. Um, the only issue with it is it's got a crack right here. That was there when I got it. But somebody attempted to fill it and it is welded from the inside and they drilled little holes at the end of the crack. So I've had lots of fires in here and it hasn't gotten any worse. So I just kind of got garbage in there right now. But eventually when I build my shop down here, which is just kind of my firewood cutting area, that'll be used to heat the shop. So yeah, kind of a nice little area. It looks nice in, in the nighttime when, when all those lights are, you know, going. But anyways, I uh, better get back to the job site there. Um, thank you guys for joining me live this morning. Um, thank you for subscribing and keeping up with what I do. Um, so yeah, I will try and have a video out shortly, possibly Friday, get something together. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.